Every Trace YouTube channel. In today's class, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful draped Agbada dress. You can see it has draping on one side and it just drapes to the other side. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. I've got lots of requests on this and I have this sample I don't know it's like organdi too but it has patterns okay so I just decided to use this for the agbada you can use organdi for it you can use just fluffy fabrics that would drip well for this you can use any fabric of your choice you can use um, doll face as well but this is the fabric I'm using it's very simple to make it does not have any shoulder seam so we are going to fold into four so let me explain what i'm folding for you so this is my yard side so for the yard side of my fabric the back fabric is by 60 this is the length and this is the yard it can be one yard two yard three yards i advise that you work with four yards so on this yard side what you just need to measure is your length that's from your shoulder to your to your full length for me that's 60 inches so here i will have 120 inches that's for the front and back so for me to be able to cut out the front and back neckline easily that's why i'm folding like that so i'm going to fold this like this so here i have 60 inches right that's 60 inches in two places that's 120 and then this is by 60 by the time you fold it that's 30 30. so again i'm going to fold into four like this that's what i have here so what i have here is 60 inches for the front and here i have 60 inches for the back as well so basically what you just need to do is to fold into two first then you fold into four so you fold in such a way that you have your front together like this and your back separately like this because the neckline is different that's why i'm folding like this so that i can cut it out easily so that is what i have folded here so the next thing you need is just your neck measurements I'm working with a neck width of 3 inches for 3.25 I don't want it too wide so I'll mark that here I hope it's visible and then for the depth for the back I'm going to work with a back depth of one and a half inches or one inch and then for the front I'm working with a depth of three and a half inches so I'll go ahead and connect this so this is my back and this is my front this does not have a zipper so you need to make sure that the head is wide enough for you to for the head to pass through it so for the front from here remember we, had, we already did three and a half i'm going to go down by another three inches so that's I'm going to make it around six and a half or you can measure from up again so you can do three and a half or seven inches which is going to be here and then i'm going to connect just to have like a v-shape so that the head can be wider so that is all you need to do so after doing that i'm going to grab my scissors i'll cut out the back neck first you can see this is my back neck so that's why i folded like that so that the front will be obvious and the back will be obvious i won't need to remove it before i can cut so now this is the back i'm going to lift the front up so that i can cut it separately so now i'm cutting out the front neckline and then i'm going to you can just slash it open instead of cutting the v so at this center point i'm going to slash up to the seven inches mark so that's what you need to do you can notch the shoulder if you want so before removing it now i'm going to fold my fabric again that's my leftover fabric and then i'll place this on it so that i can cut out facing to turn the neckline okay so now i'm going to shift this a bit and then fold in the leftover that i have for my foyers for the facing so after folding it into two like this you make sure that the fold point is where your fold point is on your main fabric as well okay so i'm just checking to make sure that i did not fold too much so after folding i'm going to bring in the actual fabric like this i'm going to lay it 
on it this is the back this is the front so after laying it making sure that the center faces the center i will open up the front and then bring it out like this i hope you understand it so that way i have my neckline this is my back neckline this is my front neckline so what you just need to do is to go ahead and cut out this exact same thing that you see here for your neckline sorry the fabric is white that's why you may not see what i'm doing just follow what i'm doing very well so now with my scissors i'm cutting out this neck shape that i have okay so after cutting it out for the front i'll slash it to the mark where i stopped slashing for the main fabric as well so now you can remove your actual fabric so depending on how wide you want your facing to be but you don't want it to be too short so that it's not going to be coming out from your from your necklines although i'm still going to use my aiming gum to glue it down so from where my neckline stops i'll just mark around five inches all round <coughs> yours can be more or less depending on what you want so for me i'm marking five inches all round and then i'm going to connect them together so this is for the back for the front i'm going to do the same thing i'll maintain my five inches but remember we have this opening in front so there so you mark your five inches and then you find a way to connect it to what you have coming just like this after connecting like that i'll grab my scissors again and then cut around it like this so now this is what it looks like you can see now that the shoulder is together as well so this is my facing so like i said it's very simple it's a simple agbada so what you just need to do now is to lay your main fabric like this right side facing right side and then i'm going to place the facing on it so this is my neckline i'll place my facing right side facing right side and then i'll pin it down and go ahead and sew all around it so that i can turn it out so after that on the edges okay that's the side you're going to hem it you can hem it in words like this or you weave it neatly you do that for the two sides and then your agbada is ready the next thing is for us to drip it i've pinned it round now you can see so you just need to go ahead and run your stitch you can sew in a hemming gum round so that by the time you turn it in and iron it's going to stay in place on the mannequin now you can see the uh, agbada is just like that i did not sew it on this side so to start sewing it to start pinning what you do is just to pleat it on the shoulder just like we do for agbada bubu so the how much you please depends on how long you want the length of the sleeve to be so you just place it on the shoulder once like that and hold it so you go ahead and pleat it to the front so you can see i'm holding it to make sure that it's as straight and neat as possible so you drape it to the front like that and then you tack it somewhere to just to hold this down so after doing it for the front you go ahead and do the same thing for the back as well you pleat what you have taken on the shoulder and tack so this is what it looks like when you pleat it so you move to the next shoulder and you repeat the same thing you're going to pleat it to the shoulder using your sleeve length as your guide that's how much place you will take and then you pin it on the shoulder as well you come to the front and then you pin it you tack it to the front just like i am pinning it neatly and then you go over to the back and then you do the same thing as well you tack it at the back so now to drape it you need to decide the side that you want so if you're taking from left to right you do that you can take from uh, from right to left as well so you take it at the back so that's the back agbada the tip of the back so you take from one side to the other just like that you can take any side you can pick from the left to the right as well so you take the tip at the back and then you take it to the shoulder to around the shoulder area so you can see me now picking it just like that i'm going to pick the tip at the back and then i'm going to take it to the shoulder 
so where we pleated that place that you pleated you can see that there is a pleat there i'm just going to lift the pleat up and then i'm going to place that drip that i'm bringing that tip of the hem i'm going to place it under it so that it can be neat so now you're going to tack everything together you can see how simple it is so once you tack it it's not going to show you make sure you tack it neatly there and that is what you're going to have so you can see all of these drapes that we see there it's very simple to make as you can see so it will form your drapes for you you arrange it very well if you need to tack it down as well you can do that so after doing all of this you can bring in your embellishment and then place it on it so you can either gum it or tack it as well. this is just to beautify it so now after doing the embellishment you can see how beautiful this is looking i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye